So this is mostly going to be a rambling video as I wanted to share my thoughts on Atomic Heart and Hogwarts Legacy, highlighting how these two games in particular have been at the center of some controversy and discussion, if you will. And I know I'm late to the topic, very late to the topic. I've been grinding a ton of Destiny with Lightfall dropping in a few days, but since I've spoken with people I know personally, I figure let's make a video about it and finally get off my list of things to do really want to express my thoughts on the craziness from the harassment labeling and just the overall level of toxicity based on whether a person chooses to purchase a video game or not will i regret this video maybe though ideally should anyone listen and disagree and by all means you're free to do so i prefer if some level of decency is presented but we'll see and lastly i guess the quickest tldr of the video is be kind i hope that's not controversial to say hey be kind to people but moving on so for a quick recap, and no, I'm not trying to minimize the severity of either case, but want to keep this video kind of short. But in case you didn't know, and I'd be surprised if you found this from me, hi, hello, welcome, JK Rowling, the creator of Harry Potter, has said and done things that have caused her to receive backlash from the transgender community and media in general. And because of this, there are individuals who are against purchasing Hogwarts Legacy, along with other products associated with the Harry Potter IP due to her benefiting from it through royalties. Now moving to Atomic Heart, same thing here, if you didn't know, I'm surprised you're learning it from me, hi, hello, but Atomic Heart is set in an alternate universe in the Soviet Union and is developed by Munfish, a studio headquartered in Cyprus, Cyprus, I, I might have mispronounced that, was sometimes to Russia, and my phone just went off. And with the current conflict between Russia and Ukraine, there are those that are against purchasing the game because of the fact that the earnings will go towards the Russian government in one way or another. Now, with both games and scenarios, I can completely understand not wanting to support either of them and wanting to apply your morals to the purchase. It's your money, spend it how you want. However, what I don't understand and can't agree with is this approach of essentially attacking those who want it or are still on the fence about buying these games whether it's because they're a fan of the ip or just want to play a game that looks interesting in the case of being atomic heart since it's a fresh ip seeing streamers harass to the point of tears labeling individuals as transphobic genocide supporters i, I personally got added to a list called genocide supporters whatever i guess saying they're the cause of violence and murder threatening to throw rocks at people outside of video game stores the list goes on another aspect is seeing how the developers are kind of seen as expendable whenever someone said they were buying the game to support the developers or mention layoffs the response is met with the developers are already paid oh they were going to lose their job anyway that's just how the industry works now are you supposed to buy every game that's released no ideally people wanted to treat games like any other game purchase with no morals attached per se but the issue i have here is just the direct thought of again treating developers as expendable as long as you can get at one well-established person specifically in Harvard's case and as mentioned in this tweet here the performance of the game has an effect on the developers one way or another and i've seen comments such as oh you're hurt by mean words while my actual life is in danger for being myself again specifically referencing hardware's legacy and i will say that's unfortunate that that's happening but to me that doesn't excuse being vile to those who just who aren't directly causing you harm and sure the rebuttal may be well by buying the game she gets money and remains relevant look i'm sorry but for one JK is already wealthy if we want to use the developers are already getting paid approach, right? And two, when I say harming you directly, I'm speaking in the sense of and using myself as an example, I haven't directly assaulted anyone because of who they are. I haven't called anyone out of their name. So why target someone who just wants to play a game? And when it comes to Atomic Heart, and again, I'm not trying to minimize the severity of what's happening right now, but for those that are buying the game, such as, well, I'll be getting a game pass for someone myself who's interested in playing a game. I'm not actively and others aren't actively out there fighting against Ukraine. And as I said, this is going to be a pretty short video. So just a, a quick summary. The main takeaway from me is that the game that you wanted to fail may have ended up being more successful than it originally may have been. Granted, and specifically, this is what Harry Potter is. It's an already highly successful franchise. So yeah, it's already likely was going to succeed anyway. A time at heart. We'll see though, since it's in Game Pass, numbers and blah 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 that fun stuff but in the progress or in the process i should say you may have also pushed away those who have been or could have been allies through different means and i'm not saying that people will now do the opposite and be hateful as a way to retaliate to those that were hateful towards them you know i personally stand by my views on the matter of to respect people's choices and actions as long as it doesn't affect me personally do you be you but again instead of being hateful and toxic explain other ways people can help educate them on the topics at hand so they can make a better judgment themselves or just use the information later throughout their day recommend charities to people 
Uh, I saw that the Atman had donated to a transgender charity. The game Stalker 2, which is being developed by GSC Game World, a studio in Ukraine, is set to release this year. And massive respect to them for continuing to work on the game despite what they're going through. Instead of targeting those who are looking to play Atomic Heart, why not promote Stalker 2? Now, again, you do not have to buy every video game that's released. That's how the industry works. It's completely fine to not support something for whatever reason. People were and are hesitant about Diablo 4, Overwatch 2, and other games due to the news surrounding Activision Blizzard. Some didn't want to buy Bayonetta 3 after the video about the voice actress was posted, though eventually people found that she lied. And me personally, I skipped out on Modern Warfare 2019 because of the business practice of blocking game modes behind exclusivity deals, even though I have a PS4 at the time. But my point is, regardless of the reason, it's completely fine to not purchase a game it could be as simple as the game looks terrible but all i'm getting at is all this negativity doesn't really bring proper change calling people certain terms just waters down the meaning and again you're potentially pushing away allies who can show support through different methods don't try to dictate what people can buy and when you bring morals to the equation will you begin to bring this to everything from the social media apps you use to the clothes you wear and the electronic devices you purchase. Now, again, not saying don't do anything, but find a more productive way of doing it instead of just going for the lowest hanging fruit and just being a, a dick about it. <laughs> I want to say jerk, but yeah, that, that sounds lame. But and lastly, if you are on the fence about playing or buying any of the games that we're, we're speaking about here, as I heard in the podcast, buy the games if you want, but also try to donate to a charity. And yeah, that that's that's pretty much going to be it. Like I said, the main takeaway point is why can't we be nicer? That's that's pretty much it. I'm not going to make the whole Kumbaya video <laughs> or anything like that, but seeing the level of this hate amongst people over these two games in particular, especially with Harry Potter and JK Rowling is just minding her own business, wealthy and just living lavishly and people in the trenches fighting over silliness, you know? So, but that's that's about it. I don't know when I'm gonna get to Atomic Heart because I have a crap ton of other games to get to in Hogwarts Legacy. I haven't purchased it. I don't know when I'll be playing it, but that's gonna be about it here. I'm not, this isn't gonna be the usual style of video that I wanna do, but again, after seeing so much discussion about these games and speaking about people I personally know about it, I figured let's make a video about it.